I was raped when I was 16. A man I didn't know wearing man of war uniform came out from nowhere and grabbed my breast. My father used to sleep with me every night, every night, every night, every night, every night, every night. And he told her that any day she said to anybody, she would die. This hurts are deep rooted. Victims of injustice have no respite, no hope. I am all for services to humanity. I have seen a lot of things go bad and I know that we cannot continue doing the same thing and expect a different result. I have decided to be the change I want to see in the society. At each point in time when I speak, I speak not only as a victim of abuse, but I speak from the perspectives of a victim or survivor as we want to see it and as a caregiver. The painful reality that there is really nothing in the society to help victims of abuse is what I want to change. I've experienced physical abuse, I've experienced emotional abuse, I've experienced sexual abuse. The first time I was sexually abused, I was eight years old. I was raped when I was 16 years old by my brother's friend. Here with me is my daughter. When I was 11 years old, my father used to sleep with me every night, every night, every night, every night. He had been sleeping with her and he told her that any day she said to anybody, she would die. And I told her to lie down on the bed. Let me check her. My child, her. This thing was swollen. Her private part was swollen. She was, he was removing water. I was like, ah, ah, I started crying. How can your father do this kind of thing? Where the legal system doesn't see the need to prosecute rape cases on time, and because of the fact that victims want closure, they lose interest or they give up on following up on legal procedures. They try to make it look like the victim is responsible for what befell her. What's the reality in Abuja? Every police station, you have to mix like six people before you get to the counter. I went to police station to report. The first person you meet, what happened? Oh, I was raped. You were raped? As you, why you wear this kind of clothes? Why did I not go rape you? When I got there, they were saying I'm lying. That is because the guy didn't marry me, because he raped me. They were just insulting me. The police people, they were just insulting me. That's a, it's the kind of people that spot people's name that I'm lying. They try to make it look like the victim is responsible for what befell her. She took the police people to where he used to sleep with her. Like, how come in places that he used to sleep with her? How he used to keep her to sleep with her? How he used to rub cream? before you sleep with her. That's why we should never hide them. We should always ensure that our systems get... At the end of the day, there's, there's nothing in place for these people. The Nancy said, okay, that them, they don't have fuel in their, in their car to go and arrest him. They have to buy fuel for them. That's the police people. I have to give them 5,000 naira that day. Evil people would always be evil. And when they manifest as such, there must be room for the law to help the victims get justice. We are women from Papi. We experienced a threat of demolition. One of our markets was demolished. Well, we got Dorothy involved in this case through the Canadian Embassy. We need a mediator between both parties. Through Dorothy, we were able to pass 
all our information to Canadian Embassy. She runs this uh, foundation that has to do with um, less privilege, um, abuse victims. She's really touching people's life. I first met Dory when she was um, presenting. She's so concerned about what's happening around her. Among the, the, the millions out there, she's outstanding. And in as much as it's not financially rewarding, what she goes through to make sure that there's justice, the little way she can to, to, to help the people that have been through a lot. She's doing something that nobody else has the guts and the willpower to do because she has, she, she there are times she'll call me in the middle of the night like, man, I feel as if someone, some people are trailing me or, you know, I feel like my life is in danger somewhere. There was a crowd that gathered here. You see, the way I was beating up like a common thief that day by three men, soldiers, we have families, many people, many families look forward to vindication by the legal system. Auntie Dorothy, after we met her, she has been the one that is taking care of for since then. In case of the mother and daughter, they've been re reunited now. They're now actively in each other's lives and they're trying to better their lives together. My hope is that within the sh in the shortest time possible, Nigeria would have appropriate policies in place that protect victims because victims are also Nigerians and, uh, and should enjoy justice. Compensation must be done, must be paid for all damages done to my reputation and that of other people. Those who have been raped need compensation.